Happy National Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Month. Hey losers, I have a lot to talk about today. <laughs> Punishment. First of all, Angel and I are not getting punished this week for videos coming up late. It wasn't our fault. I'm not doing my punishments today, partially because I just ate lunch and partially because I've been kicked out of the kitchen. I can't go get the food. I'll do the vanilla extract one, but I've decided that I really shouldn't do the mushroom one just because of my acid reflux. Losers, if you want to come up with a different punishment for me, that's great. Shelby's mom. Shelby, your mom has to do at least 60 seconds of your vlog either tomorrow or next Next week. Shelby, you have great tree climbing skills and your backbending skills are impressive. I used to be able to do that and wisdom teeth, it's not as bad as it's cracked up to be as long as you remember to take your medicine. Laura, wow. For those of you who don't know, that clip was featured on another channel. That is that is the clip that is representing us to the rest of YouTube. I find that wildly hilarious. Good going, Laura. <laughs> and thank you new channels for putting us in this week's video. It was really sweet and we were really happy to see that. Caitlin, I still want to read your book, which you have written so far, so you need to send it to me. That way I'll be all caught up for when I start coming to writer's group with you and Angel. And I will send you what I've got written in my book. Uh, I'll probably do that right after I get this uploaded. Angel, that pancake smoothie could not have been that bad. Come on, it was a pancake and syrup in smoothie form. It might have been a weird texture, but it couldn't have been that bad. Anyway, we're just glad to have you back. <laughs> Challenges. I was challenged to do the whole make a dress out of towels thing, but I couldn't find any clean towels. And also you said that I can only wear a tank top and shorts under it, and I don't own a pair of shorts. I will do that next week when I have some clean towels, and I'll borrow a pair of shorts from Diana if I have to. I was also challenged to include my pets in this video, and I'm not going to show you all of them because there's a lot of them, uh, but I will show you our four dogs. Remember I challenge has to show us an art project from elementary school. If you can't find one from elementary school, then show us one from junior high. That'll be easy for you, Angel. Book club. I finally read another book. I know I've been slacking lately, but I just finished Specials by Scott Westerfeld. Incredible book. It's part of the Ugliest series. I think all of you girls would like it. This week, I got to spend some time with my parents. We went out shopping and I got this shirt and my mom bought me this dress over here. And there's a sweater up there, but I don't feel like getting it. I don't like to shop normally, so it's kind of fun to go with my parents. Oh, and I got a pair of shoes too. I haven't had a decent looking pair of gym shoes in a while. I don't want to start a political debate. That was one of the things that we talked about when we first started this channel, is we didn't want to get into politics just because we all have such wildly different politics. What I do want to know is what do you girls think about political activism? Do you think people should talk about their politics? Do you think people should keep it to themselves? Do you think celebrities should endorse politicians? Or do you think that they should just shut up and entertain? You know, it's such a big thing right now with the primaries being in Indiana. I don't want to know your politics. I don't want to know who you're voting for, who you're not voting for, what your issues are. I just want to know how you feel about political activism, if that makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense, you don't have to answer it. Also, I did want to bring up, I don't know how many of you have been following the news about the girl in Florida who got beat up and then the people that beat her up wanted to put the video on YouTube and they all got arrested and, and the parents are blaming MySpace and YouTube for what happened. And I'm also wondering what you guys think of that because I, I personally don't think, they say that YouTube and MySpace provide a platform for violence. I personally don't believe so. I believe that any public place, be it a website or a park or a concert or a supermarket or a school or any place where you have people, there is the opportunity for violence and there's the opportunity for bad things to happen just as much as there's the opportunity for beauty and art and education and good things to happen. And I don't think you can blame YouTube for some whacked out people doing stupid things. So I'm just, I'm just curious what you guys think about that. Do you think YouTube contributed to it since these girls wanted to tape what happened and put it on YouTube and make it like this big internet sensation? Or do you think it would have happened anyways? And what do you think about people that do do things like that for the shock value and the sensationalism for their 15 minutes of fame? That's it for being really serious today. <laughs> Blade 376. I'll put his link over there. He is putting together this gigantic collab and I think it'd be really cool if all of us sent in clips. Uh, secondly, I will be appearing in Glove Box Burrito today. They wanted a guest vlogger and they picked me. I feel like I've talked about a lot of stuff now and that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, bye guys! <laughs>